my mentor behaves like this, I feel ashamed. Even when I was born as a Muslim, we can't do this kind of thing. That is what you don't know, it's all right. Here's somebody like you. I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be talking about pastors and the apparent fall from grace in front of the public eyes. Now, if you watch my last video, you know the issue that's going on on the street concerning Bishop T.D. Jakes. If you don't know about the backstory, people are saying that Bishop T.D. Jakes used to attend um Didi's party and it's kind of chummy chummy body with um Didi um and also some other celebrities like Tyler Perry and um people have been saying that at uh, those Didi parties things used to go down. So they are like why is um a pastor a bishop at those parties and they insinuated that he took he partook in some of those activities anything this is allegedly ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping okay okay so allegedly cassie has turned over evidence to the feds yes to the fed she has turned over videotapes a usb drive and kim porter's burner phone now there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include td jakes with diddy I'm gonna let y'all listen to it. I'm not gonna say nothing else. It says here, yo bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. And get this, she even gave up a burner phone and USBs that belong to Kim Porter with incriminating evidence against Diddy. I'm told that there are a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for H10. I'm paraphrasing there, okay? Mm -hmm. H10. I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. OK, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad. And they refer to him as being a power bottom. Wow. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy. And I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying to say. Oh. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's House, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man mm -hmm. now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect this pastor, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed. That's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up. He sees his fall from grace coming. Just don't look good for nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. Hollywood is being turned upside down. Jeffrey Epstein's list is going to come out. If this is actually true, this list is going to come out. And we already know T.D. Jakes is caught up with the other shit, allegedly being the person that is um, messing with Christian Keys. Everybody's saying it's either allegedly T.D. Jakes or allegedly Tyler Perry. It's either one of them. But, oh my God, if this is true... Buckle up, because next year, 2024, y'all better get y'all bingo cards out, because it's going to get real. Some of you logged in or come in out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I will not use this sacred day and this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated, infallible word of God. 
because that is what the pulpit is for. But there will be a time. <laughs> So you can stop. And it is all allegation at this point in time. There is no concrete evidence. There's nothing. It's just allegedly. And um, but the thing is that people have started to look at Pastor T.D. Jakes in a different light. And some people had already looked at him in a different light because they said that there's some things that he used to do at his church that were not um. They were not things that people thought should happen in a church. Okay, y'all. So Marty here says that that's not true and that's not how they ask for offering. So don't take my word for it. Let's listen to this pastor give his experience of visiting the Potter House. Group to go and see TD. And uh, the pastor encouraged us to go, was excited about it. And the arena was packed out, Niagara Falls. And he had the whole crowd worked up. Everybody's speak to your neighbor, neighbor. And after he kind of got the crowd worked up, he said, okay, now I need a thousand people with a thousand dollars to come down to the front real quick. I want to pray for you. Oh, all right. I need 500 people with $500 to come, come down over here on this side. I want to pray for you. Oh, oh okay. hundred people with a hundred dollars. You know, you can tell us going down, you know, less the opportunity, the less you have. Hmm. And 50 people with $50 over here. I want to pray for you. And it stopped right there. And I'm, I'm here like, you got to pay to pray? <laughs> you know, a thousand people with a thousand dollars, that's a million dollars for a prayer. Hmm. Talk about prosperity, but the only people prospering are the ones on top. We went with the college group. So anyway, like I was saying. So these kind of things like gay people, like, um, is it really a pastor? Is it really a Christian? And um, it has just got the conversation talking about um, how pastors are still humans. They are men that decided to be used by God, that God decided to use them. But at the end of the day, they are still men. But pastors, reverends, and the rest are put at a higher pedestal people by people because they feel like they are closer. I think they are closer to God or they are also a guide to them on earth. So they're supposed to like receive the um, message from God more than uh, with the floor members. Now, recently in Nigeria, someone that people have said that um, T.D. Jakes has laid hands on and even come to his church a few times and had an incident in Nigeria that also got people talking like, what is going on with uh, the men of God nowadays? Now, on Twitter, somebody put up on Twitter or X, somebody put up some a series of posts with pictures, and it talked about the fact that there was an incident with the public um, transport, with a public bus, where passengers were inside and the driver was inside, and I, apparently maybe there was a problem. I think there was traffic at that point. And then there was a problem between the public transport bus and the and the pastor's um, car, which was said to be a G wagon. So I believe that's the Benz, Mercedes Benz um, G wagon. And the pastor came down from his G wagon with his PA and his security details because most times the higher ups in Nigeria have personal police escort or security details and came down and broke the glass of the bus and also threatened the driver and also wanted the driver to be arrested by a security agent now the problem is that when he broke the glass he injured um some of the passengers <laughs> And 
when this person put up the post, a, a lot of people started um, accusing him of trying to bring down somebody. They told, called him a liar. They said all sorts. They even made it politically um, inclined because um, the pastor in the past has been in in a mess politically because um, the people, the politicians that he associates with are shady politicians, in my own opinion. They are people that are not, they are corrupt. The evidence of corruption is there. And people have said, but, uh, well, how would a pastor be associated with such people? And such pastors who are mega, um, pastors of mega churches, they don't even talk about injustice. They don't talk about anything. They are even body bodies with this politician. So right now he has been involved in a lot of things. People don't trust him um, because of these things that he would he would support the bad politicians then say um pray for the bad politicians to be good leaders which people feel like it's it doesn't make sense anyway that's kind of the things that he has been involved with right now so a lot of people are not really like um happy with him they don't trust him as a pastor and then this incident happened so people are like oh because he did not support the best candidate in my own opinion um for the presidential election in Nigeria and that people are not turning into political whatever they accuse the person of being um, a member or, or a supporter of the other candidate and not the, the one that stole the mandate yes I'm going to talk about it like that and they just talked and then his members and some other Christians were like oh you people are just saying all sorts they're trying to bring the man of God down and everything and they were not like, oh, where is video evidence or picture evidence of the, the pastor actually breaking the glass and doing everything. And this person said that everybody was shocked and nobody had the mind to bring our phone and the recording the man that was later when he had gone and when the PA and uh, the security details were around, when everybody had gotten down from the bus, that people started um, recording it now the person the first person that put up that post said that he did not want to put up the videos or picture of the pastor's PA and the security details when um, the people were trying to like calm everybody down after the pastor has left and people said all sorts now some hours after the person had put up the post I think the person even muted the conversation so the person was out of the conversation because Oh my goodness, there were so many quotes, there were so many views, there were so many um, comments. So I think the person had muted and did not continue with the conversation because at first when the person posted it, the person was replying to some people about the whole thing. And then some hours after, someone put up the video. My mentor behaved like this, I feel ashamed. Even when I was born as a Muslim, we can't do this kind of thing. Oh, no. 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 The terrible part is, oh no, it's all right. Here's a somebody like you. Ah, ah, you talk to us, I talk to you. can you imagine a pastor? Eh? He came down after breaking the glass. He came down telling the judge that he was going to jail today and he's at all. People are bleeding. He didn't even care about us that are bleeding. He just drove up. Oh, my 
So now the video that you just watched was um after the pastor that's pastor paul had left and the pa apparently allegedly that's the pa and um the security agent of the pastor the security operative of the pastor now if you listen to the conversation that they were having they kept on saying how can a pastor do that how can a pastor do that but they never said pastor paul and people are like oh we need video of pastor paul actually breaking it i don't know uh, some people are like oh that i'm sure there's somebody that that has the video and that they are just waiting till a certain time then they are going to reveal it but the conversation i want to highlight was what happened after the person put up that post the first person put up the post because other people have come to collaborate the incident somebody that was not in the vehicle that was not in the bus but actually passed by or was at the back of the g wagon or something saw the incident and also said this is what happened i didn't it actually happened that the person saw it now um what i want to highlight was what happened after the first person put up the post so many people were just quick to jump and say no it's not possible for pastor paul to do it it's not possible for a man of god to do it and they started cursing people out cursing people that believed it cursing and saying all sorts and for me i was like uh-uh that's not the way things go like someone said the only person that you can trust is the baby inside your belly if you're pregnant that everybody outside of your body you cannot trust you cannot vouch for the person per se and me, when i first saw it my own opinion was like i don't know if it's true and i don't know if it's not true but I, what i do know is that everybody is a, a human being like peter peter jesus is the disciple peter peter the rock the one that the church is built on denied jesus three times jesus told him he was going to deny him. and he said no way i will never do it did he do it he denied jesus three times not once not twice three times and he never thought he would do it so the thing is like you cannot say with all certainty that he didn't do it now the breath of the video a lot of people that actually did not believe when i be quiet but some people you know some people are just stubborn and no there's no way he didn't they're telling me none of you video game none of you did that and i'm like when people are shocked i didn't want to know that if we just come out from the vehicle and, and break the glass now i don't know if i was in the bus i probably would not have even thought of it videoing him when he came down from the vehicle because i would have thought maybe he came to just scold him or just maybe say why did you do that or something or talk to him i would never in my widest dream have thought that okay you just break the window that's why a lot of people are feeling like okay that's why the videos of him actually doing it is not out now some other people who are more realistic and now started with the oh he's still a human same people that were accusing and cursing people some of them have changed their tone he's a human he's everything i said didn't you think about that when the specific said it but you just jumped and abused people like the way they abused people was just terrible and now they're changing oh he's human um we know but that was the first thing you should have thought about before accusing and abusing people any which way um it's been more than 48 hours since the whole incident um was put up on x and since everybody has it has gone a bit viral and my disappointment is that nobody from his church or him um his church is house of the rock nobody has come to say anything about the incident seeing that some passengers were injured I would have thought that at least they would come and 
either debunk it or accept what happened and apologize 48 hours it's almost going to 72 hours and nobody has said anything and that that is the part that is disappointing me not the part that really that he acted out of anger because he's human like i said he's human and um, things can happen and also some of these public transport drivers are crazy they can do especially in lagos they are crazy they can annoy somebody road rage can happen to anybody but the aftermath 48 hours almost going to 72 hours not one word from the church not one word from the pastor nothing radio silence and it's like that that that's the part that i uh, uh i do not i i don't agree with because if it truly happened it's supposed to come out and apologize and if it didn't happen he's supposed to say it didn't happen but it's just somehow that no word from the church or from the pastor and some people are like this is <laughs> it was nigeria anything goes and then people started saying that's why he supports some certain people because he's kind of like that so people brought some things they brought up his past they said he's this they said is that which i'm not going to even I'm not going to say because I don't know anything about that. But there were some allegations that people made about him and his past that I did not know. And I'm like, whoa. But then again, if God can use Saul to Paul, if God can use Saul, who saw the, who oversaw the um, stoning of Stephen, God can use anybody. So, okay with that part so i think i don't i don't know about that part but my own is the action after the the reaction after the action nothing has been said not no apology given no denial nothing it's just wages silence as if no nobody's talking and uh, christmas eve is coming up there's sunday service and people are like is he going to mount the pulpit and do as if nothing happened or is he going to mount the pulpit and now use that as an opportunity to discuss it and personally i feel that i'm not supposed to wait till sunday to mount the pulpit and to discuss it it should there should be there should have been something said before sunday i don't know why they are waiting to if they are waiting to sunday they might not even say he might not say anything on sunday the church might not say anything on sunday they might just think um they might just ignore it But personally, I feel that the reaction to the action or the reaction to the news is not appropriate, in my own opinion. But this whole situation with Bishop T.D. Jakes and Pastor Paul has made people to realize that, oh, it seems um, men of God are actually men that have flaws. So they should not be put on any high pedestal. The only person that should be put on any high pedestal is God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And um, you need for me personally it just made me um realize more that this work this crystal work has to be personal you cannot rely on anybody any human to like show you the way you need to have direct access to god you need discernment from god you need the holy spirit to be telling you what to do you need to know god yourself to be able to know when people are doing and not doing and be able to say no this is wrong because there's so many men of God that say things to people and people will just take it as it is and those things are not in collaboration with what is in the Bible so this whole thing is just making people to just like realize that oh this race is truly personal 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 you cannot rely because you cannot rely on any man because every man is flawed so even me myself everybody is flawed because this whole situation when i was when people are talking about it people have called all sort of leading pastors and men of god and women of god and i'm like ha they've said so many things they said people are doing um private private public partnership that is leading to scamming people and i was just like oh my goodness it is obvious that the race to heaven is over personal and you must put in your own 
effort so uh, so that has been my own conclusion with the whole situation with the bishop td jakes issue and pastor paul issue so i don't know what you guys think about the whole situation um for those that are christians for those who um look up to some people as their mentor in the christian work or who look up to people as men of god or people like uh, that their mentor what are you thinking about this whole situation with um people seeing men of god or women of god as humans and not seeing them as super super supernatural beings um i would love to hear your comments so please leave your comments in the comment section let's get this discussion popping um did anything that i say about the pastor pastor paul or bishop td jakes did anything shock you do you have any personal experience with any of them or with any man of god or woman of god please leave your comments in the comment section so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified every time i upload videos now to what i said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next